Hello everyone, I'm Sun and welcome back to Neverwinter Nights. Yes, so last time we come here into Mulgrim Sanctuary. We can just pause because I don't want any of my <clears throat> buffs to wear out. Uh, in Mulgrim Sanctuary, we fought with Aribeth. She nearly killed me. I mean, she cast uh, harm that. Put me at 1 HP, I guess. No, if I didn't have additional hit points from my bear form, it would kill me. It would most likely kill me. <coughs> well, or maybe harm does only uh, leave a person at 1 HP. I'm not really sure because I don't have that spell. It's a cleric spell. Either way, we have to go here. Acid. Someone killed me with acid. Servant of flesh. Like crossbow. I guess we can just talk with Morgan. Do we want to talk with him? No. Or do we? Ah, sure. I see Morag was right. Arbeth was not strong enough to defeat you. But she has served her purpose. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> you have come too late. The ritual is over. The awakening of the old ones has begun. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, uh... okay. <laughs> the creator race will be reborn, and you shall be the first to taste the power my queen has given unto me! <laughs> I wish... Okay, I can do this. That's nice. Okay. Yeah. He's the only enemy in game who can uh, use time stuff. He's the resurrection of the servant of the flesh. But that's okay. Yeah. I mean, oh, he was yeah. that. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Okay, we have to run away here. Not really sure what the black thing does. I don't think you can do anything right now. He's <coughs> no. You go here. Come on. You want to go inside okay, okay. of that thing? Now, uh. We want to use some potions. We don't really have any good ones. Oh, less is always useful. Okay, let's bring this. Unless this is as a restoration. Okay. <coughs> okay, I probably can't use the Stone of Recall. Okay, uh, okay I love this part. Yeah. Yeah. because he has consumed yeah. it's very nice that I have blind, uh, blind fight. Yeah. Yeah. Because I have more... Uh... Ha! You are... Yeah. Are you resisted? I don't see if I resisted it or not. But I guess I did. Well, he, his 50% uh, is only 25%. Like, so that's nice. I mean, that's how it should work, right? I have 50% to miss. So that's 50%. If I miss, it's another 50%. Because I get to roll that. So that's only uh, 25%. Ah! 
now you use potions, so you don't have spells. Ah, fuck you. He used potion of heal. And he stripped me of my uh, stone skin. I mean, he still has fi only five absorption, so that's fine. What's that? <coughs> Good touch, but uh... <coughs> what's this? <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry about that. Ah uh, yes, it's a ranged touch, uh, no, melee, melee touch to act. I res failed to resist, but I was sa saved against the spell. There are no way I can get 6,000, I mean 5,370 experience points. I guess this is only... Yeah, I saved. Yeah, and this this works because it's a uh, plus twenty because I have plus three for spells against spells. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, oh, that was nice. That was very nice. He no longer has. Uh... Oh, that was very nice. So, someone has to hit him once, I guess. 35 misses? Oh, he has a very high AC. Thank you, Tommy. You killed him. Oh, loot. He didn't have anything on him. Ah, uh, okay. And this is why Tommy is here. Because I can't rest. Open this, even if you die. That's unacceptable. Casualty. And we open Club Plus 3, Mongrel's Journal, and the Warrior of Power. Uh, one of the sun's magical defenses. Some great plague that will destroy Neverwinter. As I lay dying at the epicenter of the terrible spell, my body ravaged by disease, she came to me in a vision promising life and power if I could. If I would but serve her. Morag, High Priestess of the Creator Race. Queen of the Old Ones. My Queen. Souls of the Afflicted. As promised, Lady Arupath. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah. So. Ha! Huh. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay, that was earlier. Mm -hmm. That was earlier that the, he found the word of power. He wanted to use it to... Uh, to... Oh, I can go away. Nice. Do we have to rest? Sure, we'll rest. He wanted to use it to uh, do the plague, to create the plague, and uh, he died because of it, but, I mean, almost died, but Morak uh, wanted to use him and she saved his life. Okay, more or less, more or less that's it. Oh, it's dark here. Oh, not here, not this way, okay, this way. Let's go inside. <coughs> so. Hey, Erin. Did you like my gift? I normally consider myself well informed. Particularly when it comes to matters directly concerning the defense of Neverwinter. Yeah? I must confess I was somewhat embarrassed at having no advanced warning when Arabeth appeared at the gates to surrender herself to Lord Nasher. I guess. Seeing you here, I cannot help but wonder what further surprises you might bring my way. Uh... Yeah, what does Lord Nasher plan to do with Arabeth? Nothing yet. As long as we are at war, he shall keep her alive to provide us with information about the Luskan troops. Mm -hmm. If we survive this war... I do not know. The law is clear enough. 
the penalty for Arabeth's betrayal is death. Mm -hmm. And yet, I know Lord Nasher deeply regrets Fenrik's <coughs> execution and the turmoil it brought upon the city. And he rarely makes the same mistake twice. I suppose we shall just have to wait and see. I remember I have st I still have the quest uh, to rescue Lisa. Ah, that was just just like that. Okay, no reward. Just just go. Uh, do we want to? I mean, hmm, five thousand. Ah, sure. What the Yes, hell? there is still much that must be done if Neverwinter is to be saved. Okay. Let's just <coughs> sorry. Let's just quickly go to uh, the Moonstone Mask. Yes, yeah. I forgot the name. To the Moonstone Mask, and inside we have to find the sister. Luce, Luce. Lucy, no. Thank you. Thank you for bringing me back, my little Lisa. Mm hmm. Oh, 500. I mean, maybe I'll get another level. Thank you. Cloak of Protection plus 4. <coughs> Let's see. We need 4,500. More or less. 4,534. Shh. So, uh, maybe we'll get a thousand from the quest. Nah, mm, mm. we are fi level 15, we are level 15, so we don't really need to go. I mean, it would be nice if we would get another uh, spell level. I normally consider I must seeing you yeah, here. I have the fourth Some word of, of my power. operatives reported that you had recovered the fourth word of power. I wasn't surprised, given all your previous accomplishments. Mm -hmm. And what good will this word do us? We already have three of the damn things. Ah, oh, fuck you, I'm not sure. Now that we have all four words, we may be able to unlock their power, Lord Nesher. And just how are we supposed to do that, Gen? Do you know how to use them? Hadrilene knows. No, but I suspect Hadrilene understands their mysteries. She might be willing to share her secrets with our champion. Mm-hmm. You should quit wasting Gen's time. Go speak with Hadraline if you think the word is any use. I am afraid Lord Nasher is right. You should speak to Hadraline about this. Is there anything else you need? Oh, what kind of information does, did Hadraline tell me? Hadraline does not trust us, I fear. Understandable, considering the reception she received upon her arrival. You are the only <coughs> one she is willing to speak to. Mm -hmm. Perhaps it would be best if you kept her secrets. If she wishes to share them with us, she will send for either Lord Nasher or myself. Okay, no problem. I am more than just a spy master now. I am responsible for coordinating the entire defense of Neverwinter. I will not risk alienating a potential ally in Hadrilene. Okay, no problem. I trust you, and I suspect that whatever information Hadrilene has shared is something I cannot help you with in any case. Okay, no problem. If we had the manpower, I would place an entire company at your disposal. But I need every warm body on the battle lines just to keep Luskin from taking the city core. You will have to act on Hadrilene's information on your own, I'm afraid. Is there anything else I can help you with? Yes, I killed Morgrim. Yes, I heard he met a fittingly violent end. Yet, the enemy's spirit is not broken. Others step forward from the ranks to assume the leadership of Luskin's army. Mm -hmm. As we feared, there is some darker power behind the invaders than even Magrum. All we can do is hold on as long as we are able, and pray help arrives in time. Okay. Is there something else you need? Uh... If not, I should get back to my reconnaissance <coughs> reports. Not really. Yes, there is still much really. that must be done if Neverwinter is to be saved. Okay. Hedralin. Hedralin, I have I the fourth power. You have the word of power. But you have come too late. Morag has grown too strong. Mm -hmm. She 
has feasted on the souls of the plague victims <coughs> and fed her power through the rituals of Morgrim. I can no longer stop her return. Mm -hmm. Soon my mistress will have the power to break free of the Source Stone, even without the words of power. Surely there must be something we can do. I am only a word slave. I can do nothing against the growing power of my queen. <laughs> but where I have failed, you may yet succeed. Hmm. You could enter the Don't source stone okay. itself and confront <coughs> Morag before she reclaims her full power. You could destroy her before she awakens the old ones. How can I do that? The source stone is located in the dungeons beneath this castle. I have already told this to the warm blood you call Lord Nasher. Mm -hmm. There are four pedestals surrounding the source stone. <laughs> Place the words of power on the pedestals, and you will be drawn into the very heart of the source stone itself. Okay, where are they right now? The three words recovered outside the city were in the possession of the warm blood known as Lord Nasher. <sighs> if he is wise, he will give them to you. Okay. The fourth word you recovered from Morgrim yourself. You will need all four hmm. to enter the source stone. Okay. You must hurry. Every delay allows Morag to grow stronger. I wish you luck for the sake of us all. Okay, I have to go to Nasher. <coughs> to Nasher to go to get the words of power. These are strange times. My city is in ruins and all but overrun by Luscan forces. And yet Erebeth, the leader of our enemy, sits in our dungeons awaiting my judgment. Mm -hmm. Were things not so grim, I might laugh at the absurdity of it all. <sighs> what is it you need of me? Uh, I want some questions. After all you have done for the city, the least I can do is answer your questions. Although Gend probably knows more than I do. Nah, I should go. Come and go. Okay. Uh, maybe Gend. I normally consider myself. I must. Seeing you here, I cannot help uh, but wonder what. Yes. Not really, no. Okay, how can I go inside? Through the dungeon? I got this in the dungeon. Oh yes, here. Okay. <coughs> Caverns. Uh, no. Sure. Tommy, maybe you would come Step with me, with me. Come and on. then check. Follow along. Okay, okay. Because maybe something interesting to happen. Ah, uh, it's Maybe done. I will get a level. Because okay, I got two thousand here. I need only. 2530 or okay just some gold okay that's useless for me right now hmm now probably no yeah why bother <coughs> it's not like we don't have everything we need so, uh, Master Ford. Greetings. I am Master Ford, head archaeologist of Neverwinter. Lord Nasher mentioned someone might be coming to investigate the Source Stone. The Source Stone is truly a remarkable discovery, I must say. Fascinating. I've been an archaeologist for nearly half a century, and I've never come across anything like it before. I tried to pry some of its secrets from Hadralin, Lizard creature Lord Nasher has been present in the dungeons, but she didn't seem to trust me. Yeah, I need to go inside. Ah, oh, yes, yes, of course. Why should I be the only one allowed to see it? It is mine, after all. Go right in and take a look if you want. 
I doubt that would do much good, however. There doesn't seem to be any way to unlock the secrets of the stone. I thought the words of power might be the key, but they haven't done anything so far. Okay, we go inside. We don't need to talk with you, do we? So, ow, oh, the words of power are, are already here. So, what we do is buff ourselves. <coughs> we probably won't be able to rest. So, we need everything we can. Stone skin. No, 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 not this stone. Not this, stone skin. this one is. Mm -hmm. Awaken all those inside of myself. Stone skin on this guy. I still have some blues uh, endurance. I can give them some cat sprays. I can give them uh, clarity. Maybe those two guys. And potion of speed. You drink it. All of you drink it. And wild shape. So we put the last word of power here. Where is it? Here. And we can go inside. Hello. A voice speaks softly as you near this source stone. The way is open, enter and you shall see hope, you shall see wonder, you shall see all things revealed. You can feel the power of the source stone tugging at you. So what happened? Maybe I cast it on someone else? Uh, yeah. oh. Hmm. oh, they got me a lot of experience points, 168. So maybe we'll get enough to level up. Maybe. I would like it very much. Of course I can't hit him because Tommy is blocking, son of a bitch. 204. I mean, how many enemies do we need like this? 10, right? 10 enemies that give me 200 experience points. I guess this could work. Oh, well, Ashira. I will help you, Ashira. I bring judgment! Okay, it's Arthur. 78. Uh, it could happen. <coughs> Hello. I see by looking at you that you are not from my world of Azala, but I thank you for your aid nonetheless. Okay, yes. Huh? Had you not intervened, I fear I would have succumbed to the scaled raiders. My name is Ashira of the Shining Order from the city of Sahaladar. Okay, uh, except for your clothes, you look just like Aribev the Tilmarand. My garments are those of my people. Though perhaps they look as strange to you as your own garb does to me. Don't you have berries in your uh, world? As for the name Erebeth, I have no knowledge of her. Was she a companion of yours? Uh, yes, she was a hero of our people once, until she fell and betrayed us to Morag. Morag? That name is known to me. The Queen of the Scaled Raiders! Her face has haunted my dreams! Her voice hissing whispered promises of power to tempt me to turn against my people. Mm -hmm. But I am of the Shining Order, sworn in service to Sahaladar, greatest of the floating cities on Azala. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I have sworn to destroy Morag and save my people. Okay, goodbye. 
Wait, before you go, there is something I must tell you. Please, you must listen. Time grows short. Uh, what? The queen of the scaled riders still lives, but the spell that brought me to this place grows weak. Soon it will fail and my spirit will be wrenched, wrenched from this plane back to my home world of Azala. I will never reach Morag's inner sanctum and the magical artifact forced by my people to slay the queen will be wasted unless I give the artifact to you. Okay, give me it. Ashira's amulet. <clears throat> Quickly, take this amulet. I will help. It will help protect you against Morag's and Morag and her people. The fate of many worlds is in your hands. You must destroy the scaled queen or we are all doomed. Huh. Uh, mm, this is the amulet. Reptilian IC plus 3, electrical 25, spell resistance. That's actually a pretty good spell resistance. And this is a. Uh, no can't a salty smell drifts through this impenetrable door. Past the door, you see waves pound mercilessly against a tall green tower that sits alone in the center of a great sea. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, we have two enemies, Evoker. We need to kill this guy first. Sorry. Okay. Uh, maybe. Maybe we will be able to get another level. If we didn't die, that would be very probable. We died a few times, so... Thousand five hundred. Mm. Tommy will probably do something with that trap. That's fine. With the other trap too. <coughs> oh shit. Yep, you're full now. Ah, okay, no can do. What's with the other door? Ah, you blink, no astonished do. to see past this unbreakable door. Tall trees stretching up to a blue-green sky. Okay, that's nice. There's more enemies here. Evoker. Okay, first I kill the Evoker. That's very important to kill the enemies first. Yeah, and the uh, good, uh, magic fang. Here magic comes fang. Hi. Oh, okay. We'll get a level. We will get our level up. Sure. Nice. Very nice. Time for a bit of the game. I really hope this guy won't wake up. Sure. Okay. okay. We need to. We need to try to kill those guys. We need to try. Oh no, if, if Tommy died, probably, <clears throat> probably we can go away. We have to run all the way back. Maybe, maybe, I, I'm afraid I fucked up. Let's try and go here. Yeah, we can go away. Sure, nice. That's very nice. So, we will just go here. Talk with Tommy. It was so strong. Sure. Rest. Oh, that's nice. Okay, you can rest. That's a good thing. I was afraid. But we will be able to get a level up. There's... Uh, how many enemies? Three enemies left, right? I need about four or five enemies. To level up. If we do, if we are... I mean, we'll do... We'll do something like this. Because uh, if we manage to level up, then then 
it will unsummon the companion. Inside and this is stone skin. Okay, this is going to be a longer episode because, or will be, will it be? Hmm. Yeah, I don't want this one to be too long. So this is going to be the end of this episode. Remember, if you liked it, push that like button. If you disliked it push the dislike button and if you want uh, to see more of my videos subscribe to the channel so until next time